It can be hard to sort the wheat from the chaff when it comes to school funding in Minnesota. Things were simpler when the first school was built in 1848. Since then, the state and local communities like ours have worked together to find ways to build schools and update them when roofs, walls, and foundations hit the end of their useful lifespan. One of the jobs of our school board is to figure out the best way to build and maintain facilities that are safe and meet the needs of our students. In rural communities, like ours, it's primarily local property owners who pick up the tab for building improvement projects. Sometimes it requires us to go to voters for a bond referendum. A bond is similar to a mortgage. Property taxes support the payments on the bonds used to finance school construction. The amount of property tax you pay depends on the value of the land you own. For agricultural landowners, voting on a bond referendum can mean choosing between your business and your local schools. Sometimes that can be a difficult choice. However, thanks to the Ag to School tax credit, agricultural landowners are getting a break, a big break. And there's no additional tax impact to non-agricultural landowners. You see, with the Ag to School tax credit, the state of Minnesota picks up much of the cost of a local bond referendum that applies to agricultural land. This tax credit is automatically placed on your assessed taxes for the year. No application, no forms, no waiting period. The tax credit applies to most current and future building levies, including all voter-approved bonds, and will grow to 70% in 2023. And this applies to all agricultural land except for your home, garage, and one acre of homesteaded land. The Ag to School tax credit is one way the state helps rural school districts so students have safe and modern facilities that are helping prepare the next generation of leaders. Visit our website to learn more.